victoriously, Nam the Kano smiled out of the court as the judge adjoined the case in his favor. Hallelujah. <laughs> of course, now it's a hallelujah thing. Um, just like I actually gave in my broadcast, in my first broadcast this evening, the today's hearing was actually in favor of the IPOP leader Namde Kano. You understand? And the reason for the adjournment of the case is still for his own favor. And uh, there is a reason for that. Yes, I know that it's a delay. Yes, it's a delay somehow. The, the case is actually causing a delay somehow. But um, as things are going, the, the fact is becoming clearer gradually. The IPOP leader today, who appeared in court at Umuahia, Abia State, has actually um, expressed his pains and all that they made him to go through. You understand? So the courts, in response, have to levy the federal government. Uh, I think a uh, 25 billion naira for dam for damages, of which uh, I think um, that's that that was uh, three days ago, three days ago. But then, uh, the courts have to uh, uh, revisit that very request to know if the federal government has really responded to the decision of the court as per uh, the charges. You understand? <laughs> Nigeria is in trouble. Let's check the content, my dear listeners, to know, to get the full content of this very broadcast. This is Evening News. The case of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipop, Nambikanu, at the Federal High Court for Umwahia, Abia State, has been adjourned until 27th of October for judgment. Politics Nigeria reports that IPOP is challenging the federal government of Nigeria over the arrest and extradition of Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. Kanu is seeking 25 billion naira from Nigerian authority as damages, among other requests. During the court session on Tuesday, Barrister Loi Ejimako the special counsel to Kanu and IPOP brought the United Nations UN's charge to release his clients unconditionally to the court notice. Until the respondent provide warrant of extradition or arrest, Kanu's arrest remains highly illegal and unconstitutional, Ejimako said. The legal practitioner also faulted the September 2017 military invasion of Kanu's home, saying, if Mazin Namdi Kanu and his family and community were not harassed and skilled in 2017 by the Nigerian military, we wouldn't have been here hearing cases. My dear people, only God, only God saved Namdi Kanu. <laughs> Hey, only God saved him because um right from I think right from 2017 this uh, uh attack attack on Namikan started since 2017 since 2017 of which the federal government are aware they will not say they are not aware. They are hundred percent aware. They know everything that has been happening. They are just putting up pretense, pretense upon pretense. 
despite that these people still have the guts to still extend their hand of arrest on the IPOP leader. So why won't the IPOP leader charge them for uh, for charge them to pay him 25 billion for damages? To me, it's even little. It's little. They would have charged them more than that. You understand? They would have charged them more than that. Because what they did to the IPOP leader, to me, is too troubled and too embarrassing. And too embarrassing. You get it? And I just... So, my people, my people, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Something needs to be done. And be done very fast. You get it? Hmm. Let me hear you from the outside to know what your own take and what's your own opinion on this that has just been be reviewed about Mazi and the canoe in today's hearing in the court of in the court of Umwahia. Please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you